Hi everyone. Um, I thought um, I sh should do a video for you guys. Um, quite a few people have asked for a journal flip of this um, book. And, um, and finally I've just managed to get some time where I can do this for you. Um, I've had my father go to the hospital recently so I was a bit slightly time poor but he's now returned and um, and you know I've managed to get some time this afternoon to do this for you and it's got beautiful lighting so you know let's give this a go um, so just a little bit about this journal I purchased this journal through Melissa um, who does her little Etsy shop uh, under the name Moonside Parlor. Um, she's got fantastic journals. So I just really wanted one of hers so I could fill it up. So it's not mine, uh, but I've done everything possible to make it mine. <laughs> um, so initially there was some stuff in here tucked in and and you know, there was, she gives you lots of ephemera. So uh, I, I pretty much used all of it. Um, this book only holds uh, two months because I I find that when it gets really thick like this it's really hard to work on the back end so I've decided you know well I'll just do one month at a time so so I won't keep you waiting so let me show you what what's in here so I started this in January um, so what I've done here is um, added a calendar for January. Um, I think these are quite um, prolific. Uh, you can find it, find it in Pinterest. They go back to, I think, 19, early 1900s and, you know, there's no copyright issues. So I, I like to divide my months or have some kind of a, a note, you know, note for myself that it's a new month. So um, I, I've added this on later because I didn't know how to start it because it was her pages. Uh, my first entry was just on, on a standard card like this and then, you know, um, the word of the day was resolution or new. Oh, um, so what I meant to uh, also should tell you guys is um, I do doodle a day um, through um, uh, something that's hosted on Instagram. I don't kind of show people, but I do it for me, for, for myself. I like doodling, can't do it very well, but I'll give it a go. So the first uh, doodle of the day was, uh, the, the word was new. So I wrote resolution, which is not really much of a drawing, and I just did some collage. It'll go, it'll do for me. So that was the, the first, um, and it just kind of tucked it in here because um, that's where it was initially when I received it. Um, and as everybody knows, I do, I like to do word of the day. I get, I have a subscription with Miriam Webster Dictionary and they send me a word every day. Um, the journal came with this little cute extra button things which just sits there, it looks very decorative. I don't really use the envelope either. I should, but I don't. Um, and uh, then we go into the next day. So the second sketch of the day was hobby and I like journaling so I drew do a book which is quite cliched. And I did a, uh, just a paint card with just word of the day and I've just stuck um, paper that I've printed on on the other side. And it just sits in here. This is, uh, the clear sleeve is, uh, I think when you get like cards and stuff, you can get, you get these uh, with the, the purchase. So I just slit the top off and um, I've just written on the card, which is just a plain card stock and just slotted it in because it's, it's nice. Um, this is a page or paper that I've printed from uh, the Graphic Fairy. I think she's got a little little um, ensemble of these things and I've just uh, paste, like glued it on. A lot of people ask me how I, how I do all this. I just use clear tape guys, just something like this to uh, glue the paper on and just your standard glue which is just these sort of things. Um, here the, the book, the, the journal itself had this sewn on 
and I've just collaged this tissue paper over it, stuck some stamp, doodle of the day was butterfly and I've just got a card stock and just done word of the day and I've just written about the day, that's it. It's, I keep my things very simple, there's no, I'm not going to put pressure on myself to I don't know. I just, I just, I just think you know, if something's wrong, it doesn't matter. It's my journal. It doesn't stress me out. Um, all I've done here is I had these little die cut things that comes with the um, your uh, paper. I've just used a Brad fix and just put that on. The, this is a paper. I think this is a textile paper that I had, which I've just. Um, cover the other side of this, flipped it over the page to create a pocket so I could put this in. Um, and I think down here and here I've used double side sticky tape. Um, just, you know, decorated it. This was um, also, I think, a fabric. So what I've done is I've gone and put the, the two images side by side like this on a uh, just on a word document use photographic paper and print it and which has been dyed and I've just uh, printed that on and made a little booklet I've just got this to do my doodle of the day and I've got word of the day in the middle and then I've just pierced through and done a little booklet which just sits in here um, that's just a little page that came with the journal which I've done nothing much to this is a napkin which I had and all I've done is used a glue and stuck this on just so, because I just didn't like the lines running that way and I wanted to fill the paper up so that's why all I've, all I've done is collage nothing more to those pages here um, I have used another I think mural guys I, I use a lot of I, I stay away from like vintage and that sort of images it's not something that I, appeals to me too much I like all the really old stuff like old textiles old murals or old tapestries carpets rugs they all have fantastic patterns and that's what I use and they date back so I think they date back to 1800 1900 so there's no issues with copyright so I can do it peacefully without you know worrying that I'm gonna step on someone's toe so here is a, a bird that I doodled, just sits there. This is another um, picture of Indian textile. And all I've done is glued this die cut thing on with a little brad fix, done a little uh, paper clip with a little fabric on the top and that's it, I've written on the inside. This is just, uh, I think I had some clear paper that I've just washed like wiped the paint off paintbrush when I used to do uh, art journaling and I've just decided to just stick it on and do some collage just to cover the page I'm one of those people who likes a full page I don't know why I wish I did <laughs> and um, yeah just stuck some stamps on um, in this one because she already had given me a green paper I saw this in a magazine and this has got a glossy cut uh, like um, surface to it so you can't really do very much so I but I really like it because I think that marries up with that green so I've just glued that on uh, and it's I think giving me like a border which is nice and um, I've just washi taped that got just tracing paper put washi over it and this is also another textiles I've written done word of the day at the back and um, just a picture of electronics, uh, which was the, the doodle of the day prompt. So it just sits in there. Here, um, I've done some botanicals. Um, this is just a, like a old paper, which I've created a, a tuck envelope, glued it on with sticky tape, as you can see, guys, and uh, created a spot to put uh, my cardstock which I've written in as well as um, drawing which is a, I think a balloon um, I did have this is actually what are those things called vellum 
vellum divider so I've just stuck that in because sometimes I find when there's too many is if it's too much I'll just divide it with something clear so it just it's not full on so here I've got the writing on this side on this side it's another textile I've done word of the day I've just folded it like an envelope put some washi on the edge I think the doodle of the day was a bath so there's the bath my version as you can see I can't draw <laughs> and I, I received this little thing I've got to tell you you're gonna laugh um, I ordered some shoes and this little thing came with the shoe so I thought oh that's nice so I'll just tie it to the the paper clip and stick it in my journal <laughs> so here um, Melissa had already given me that page with the tuck spot I decided to um, so just put paper clip the drawings and then do I think I've done a so that I've got the word of the day and I've collaged over a book page and I've just paper clipped it so it just sits there and I've just written on there here I've got the next day I think where I've written about the day in here and as you can see then we've got the because it's two days I've done uh, I don't know I've done extra drawings I don't know why <laughs> so um there are your doodles and there's more text um uh, this is what have I done here so this one I think is like a little cap so even it discovery for me too guys um, so I've used a ginormous paper clip to hold this all down oh, this has been yeah this has been sewn on so I can't actually remove this so it just sits there quietly what I've done here is so this is just a I don't know where this picture is but I liked it so that I had the running thing of theme of peacocks. Um, just that this came with the journal, so I've done the word of the day there. Uh, discovery, so I've done a magnifying glass. I've got a cardstock. I've written about the day, and this just kind of sits in here. And. Um, on this side, I've, I've just, um, this came with it and this kind of used to lift up, lift up. So I've just stuck this on to hold that bit down. And this is the, the little booklet with a word of the day, writing, and that's the, the drawing of the day, which is a banner. So they all sit together and with my ginormous paper clip, I'll hold everything down like this and it just will sit there till I pull it apart next time. There you go. This is another vellum that I got uh, which just divides the page. This is another textiles. I think these are from 1852 or something. I just love this. This is so pretty. Um, just coffee dyed Photo photographic paper with just a stamp. I have got here word of the day, which I've just stuck on here. Sketch of the day, which was a can, and I think this just kind of tucks in here. Here I've got this is an envelope that actually came with the journal that Melissa had given me. So I've just done word of the day, put it back in here, and a hat. And that's where I've written. So it's just kind of. I use so many paper clips <laughs> because um, I don't know. I've got so many bits and pieces in there. Um, here I've just um, folded the paper ribbon and then just um, stapled it and then put this kind of sticker on it just to cover the the staples. Here I've got another. I've just put that die cut on there. Brad, Brad fixed it. Did a little um, tuck, I don't know what do they call the edging. <laughs> and 
and um, just a, this I think is from one of the graphic fairy things, just written on the back of that, got glass, word of the day. I think, you know, I'm, I'm not as fancy as some of the people that I see on <laughs> online. Just do, I just do what comes to mind. Uh, this one covered the page, just put some stamps on there. I had this um, ribbon, which I've just kind of tucked in and stapled it. And that's like the tab. So this was something that came with the journal and I've tried to be, been trying to tuck this in and it just doesn't sit right, but it doesn't matter. Um, I've stuck this on because it was just a plain paper. Um, then I've used, made a little booklet to do the word of the day. Um, we've done the London cabs because it was taxi and some writing. And that will just sit in here. And just tucks in here but it doesn't really sit there properly this is the the sketching and that paper came with the journal and I've done word of the day on it with a little bit of collage and this is I think a trim of a sari that someone's taken a photo of so I've just printed it out cut it out and written on it and it just pretty much just gets tucked up here with a paper clip. Okay, here we go. So the next page, this is another, um, no, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I've done when I go back to it most of the time, I have to really look so this is another uh, napkin that I had, which I've covered the bottom with, I've created a, a tuck spot. At this time, I was still participating in 200 day journals. So I was finding that me trying to do the 200 day journal, daily journaling, working full time and still doing stuff with my daughter, I was just struggling. So I sat there and I ummed and ahed and ummed and my, ummed and ah about carrying on. I just thought, what are you doing? I really wanted to m finish it, but I just, was just don't have the time so I always struggle with time so I just thought I'll do my daily stuff and there's no pressure of keeping up so that's a that's a envelope handmade envelope from Nepal from I think rice or handmade paper something like that and just word of the day on a, a tab and that's just a coffee dyed standard paper that I've written on and um, it just tucks in here with the, with the stamp. Another tracing paper with just the washi on the edge. This will be the word of the day. And this is just a card stock that I've pasted on. So yeah, I was still doing the prompts at this time, 82. I think it's around here that I stopped. Here is uh, the drawing. I want this. I think in here I did the word of the day. I got one of these things from um, overseas and it's just a, like a book of a page with a bit of writing on it. I just stuck it in to divide the, 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 the writing. Um, <laughs> it's a really bad drawing of a piano. Um, I had this cardstock, beautiful card, and all, all I've done is stuck it in, written on it. Let me show you that. So it's just that. There's more writing on this side. Word of the day. And I think quote was the drawing of the day. And I just wrote, you can't buy happiness. I'm a big believer in that.
um, just textiles. This tuck spot was already there, so all I did was uh, put the stamp and the brad, brad clip and this bow. Um, 83 things you can count on. I was still doing the journaling. So all I've done is created a, a tuck spot there. I had this card, which is now stuck to the journal. Okay, and I'm gonna destroy it. That was the word of the day. So we'll just keep it light. Um, the text is there, the divider. Here we've got ribbon that I've sewn on and uh, created this tuck spot and I've written on the back of this cardstock. Writing uh, my daily journaling cardstock with more writing that continues on from there. I think I got some cards from overseas. I get a lot of stuff from China, so um, that was just one of the packaging and I like the picture, so I just collaged the bag to do the word of the day. This one, uh, I think this is a new month. Yeah, this is a new month, so I don't even know why I didn't segment it. So all I've done is write, uh, these are the things I wanted to do, I think, I don't know, for the next month. And um, this is another page that I had, which I was doing nothing, I've just stuck it in. Um, done aquatic and really bad dance. Um, I don't think I've got anything in there. Oh, that's right. We've got a new month. So February. Um, we have some drawings. We have word of the day. I think I'll stop talking guys because there's not much to say. Um, game, word of the day, and just the text. This is another of the plastic sleeves that I got, I think, card off, card. So I've done a bottle of drawing, drawing of a bottle, sorry. This was given to me by one of my colleagues. She thought it was cute and I could use it, and I did. So word of the day. And just text. And I've just stuck that on. Nothing fancy. Ooh. So another card, word of the day, drawing, and just writing. Look at that.
So and that's the, the paper. It. There's nothing more to the other side. She's giving me a beautiful tuck spot, so just some sloth, need some writing, and some words of the day. So another thing I like to do, and I, I don't know if you guys know, is I like doodling. And I, whenever I get a, a anything that's got a check in it, <laughs> I'll just doodle away. So that was just one of the things. On, oh, actually, this, there was an envelope that came with the journal, and I didn't want to leave this empty, so that's why I doodled. Um, here I've got the word of the day, and um, the drawing was the telephone. It just sits in this envelope and I'll, I did want to obviously leave this empty either so I've just just stuck some stuff on create a tux did that create a tuck spot and uh, drawing of breakfast and where of the day So that's more text. I had this envelopes that I ordered and in that uh, envelope I've got a fairly long card. That's the word of the day and uh, a drawing. So it just sits in here. And that's the story, drawing of stairs, word of the day and just some text in there. that oh. and this is some um, I think Art Nouveau stuff so yeah that was given to, uh, as is I don't know why I didn't write here, I just realised, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, drawing, uh, word of the day, and more text. So I suppose... I just had some tissue paper here, guys, with uh, for cherubs um, made this tiny little envelope to do word of the day. Uh, this is another part of that envelope that I was telling you about. As you can see, this is plain, and I it, it was getting towards the end of the month, and I'm like, obviously, not giving much attention. Um, that's just a little strip that I've written on. Oh, and look, I haven't even done the drawing does not matter might go back to it and finish it <laughs> later so that's the back page and some sticking stuff on and looks like I haven't done any more and that's the end of the month so guys, I hope that wasn't too boring. Um, sorry if it was. Um, I would love some feedback as to what I should do to improve. I don't improve this kind of thing. I don't do videoing very often. So, uh, I mean, I would love your feedback and also some tips if I should be doing something or if I shouldn't be doing some things just so I can improve these sort of things when I do it next. Thank you for watching. Bye.